And the big news was that Pat Cummins was ruled out of this test match due to being a close contact, and that meant Michael Neeser came in to debut in test cricket, and the man on screen there, Steve Smith, he is back as captain of Australia, and he went out and won the toss, and he elected to bat. Oh, oh close. They do like close. that. And given Stuart Broad. It's taken him 14 deliveries to stamp his authority on this Ashes contest. Phil DePaul gets a change of your decision from out to not out. Oh, taken, is it? Brilliant. Josh Butler absolutely brilliantly taken down the leg side. Stuart Broad had one turned down in the previous over, but he breaks through and England have their first. Stuart Broad pitching it up and then banging one in. And it's a stunning catch from Joss Butler. Oh. Superman to wow. his right. What a catch from Joss Butler. First time he cuts David Warner and he cuts well. First boundary of the test match. Nicely tucked away. And tease the fielder into the boundary. Pulled away and pulled away with disdain. David Warner gets going. It's like going back to body line here. Short leg. <laughs> Bring it on. Two men back on the hook. Oh. oh, nearly, nearly to the fielder. Well, where did that come from? Well, it's just heating up in the middle. Temperature rising. This is uh, wonderful to watch. It's all happening. Oh, it's oh picked that's him off. nasty. On the ribs. He's already done that to David Warner in the last test match. This time he gets Australia's number three. Warner cashes in on the over. Pitch delivery. And Profit with a boundary. And it's a width on the offside that Warner dines out again. So his second boundary since the resumption. Takes it on, catches the call just over the head. He'll get four, but it came with high risk from Labashain. Oh, gloved, is it? Oh. oh, Butler. He took a beautiful catch earlier in the day. He looks disappointed. Oh, he's put that down. Should have swallowed that. Joe Root, just a solitary over before the dinner break. And David Warner obliges with him, coming back into the attack, over-pitching, and puts him away. Well, steps away and gets it away to the boundary. David Warner into limited overs mode. This is Bradman-like. If you put all your fielders on the leg side, I'll hit you through the offside. <laughs> he wasn't trying to keep it down. This one tucked oh. away as well, finds the boundary. Bisects the two fielders, and that's 50 up for David Warner. It's been tough going, but he's got there. And importantly, he is still there. Overpitching on this occasion, two full. And Labashain tucks it away for four. He hasn't had too many freebies. Strong leg side field in case he decides to whack them. <laughs> Round the corner, there was a bit of bat on it. Leg slip was in position. It did fly away. He should be pretty fine. I think he's probably a bit too square, Ben Stokes. <laughs> Nicely punched down the ground by Labashain. He's looking for three, and he'll come back and get it. Terrific running. 50 up for Marnus Labashain. 1250s in Test cricket. One of his most patient. Well played, Marnus. Pulled away to good effect. David Warner gets another boundary and 150 partnership. And this has been punished to the boundary. This time, Lover Shane getting the short one away. Into out and no protection out there. So another four. So Lover Shane steps away and carves it out to the boundary. I'm sure whether they'd, something that they discussed or if it was just a, an emotion-driven glance to the team to say, come on, let's win this battle. Come no on, we're on the edge of our seats here. He needs nine more runs to get 100. He's played beautifully. No Moz. Interesting leg side field. 
Stokes to Warner. It's short. There's men out there. Oh. It doesn't matter, though. Oh. David Warner took it on. Fielders galore out there. He moves to 95. Howie, I was about to throw Huss out of the seat there. <laughs> Continue to pepper Warner on 95. He oh. takes it on over the offside, and he's gone. Warner holds out to Broad. Stokes breaks through. And for the second time in consecutive test matches, David Warner is out just short of 100. I've got nothing, Howie. I'm speechless. This is so disappointing. He's played so well. He played beautifully up at Brisbane for 94. This time he's milled it. He's shelled it straight to the fielder. Nearly burst through Broad's hands. He hit it so hard. And unfortunately, David Warner's gone. He can't believe it. He deserved 100. Shot. It's that well. There's two men down there. Pierces the gap beautifully. You Smith up. takes on the short ball. Takes it on nicely. Yeah. So if you said... Great shot from Labashain. So he's got the new ball. Oh. Uh, immediate effect. And on the elbow there, it certainly cannot into the midriff or the body. It looked like... But Smith drives nicely through the vacant covers. Might go all the way, that. It does run away. Well timed by Steve Smith. Labashain is dropped! Oh, no. Butler dropped one oh, no. that he would have expected to take every single time late in the day. The edge comes and hits the keeper's gloves and it hits the deck. He took a great catch earlier. Ooh. Wow, that's, that's a killer blow. That's another regulation catch. Maybe he didn't pick it up the pink ball, don't know, but I don't know. Don't be feeling sick. Absolutely sick. No, you've got to feel for Josh Butler. He's actually hardly made a mistake today. He took an absolute scream this morning. Everything's gone in the middle of the gloves. My last ball of the day. And he do a DK Lily. <laughs> was it Viv Richards at the MCG, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the inside edge, I think. Merv Hughes to Mike Gatting at Old mm -hmm. Trafford. Last ball of the day. Let's see what he can do. Stuart Broad. Final ball of the day's play to a patient Marnus Labashain. Steams in no and defends and no run is the call from Marnus. So in the end, England have stuck to their guns all day, but Australia on top two for 221. Labashain 95 not out. Smith's there on 18. The partnership worth 45. Yeah, Australia be happy. It was a good toss to win. Uh, when you win the toss here in Adelaide, you always want to bat first. Australia did that. They made the most of it. England bowled pretty well with the new ball. Anderson Broad maybe a touch short for the whole day. But in the end, Australia will be very happy with their situation. Only lose two wickets and have 221 runs on the ball with plenty of batting to come. They'll feel like they're in a dominant position after day one.